before we quite get to the IK options, I wanted to show off a little bit about the NLA, how we use the NLA system for our retargeting. As you can see, by looking at the NLA system right now, we have three objects here that have animated. One is our original motion capture, which we will press hide, doesn't matter. We don't need them anymore, we, we've retargeted. Then you have the base action, which contains the raw retargeted animation, basically everything we have here. Auto fixes, which you'll see later, uh, are four different types of post retarget fixes that can be applied to the armature and they can be baked and they get baked to this layer and manual fixes which is really useful if the anatomy of the two armatures is not exactly the same and you want to manually fix a bit of the rotations so we're actually going to do that now I'm just going to put up the action editor as well so you can see exactly what we're doing and I'm going to select the armature now as you can see his feet kinda kinda go in a bit uh, maybe this was a female animation and this is more of a male issues like that maybe we want to retarget from something that is a human character to something that's more of a fantasy character like a goblin with shorter knees or a child etc 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 so what we can simply do is we can go into pose mode and we can go into the manual fixes so after we've set the rotations where we want we can hit tab like so on the manual fixes hit I visual rotation that will add a keyframe to the manual fixes action that is associated with the name of the retarget it's a tab and we can see that that fix has been applied throughout the retarget it kind of m perhaps hurt the fidelity of our action but that's just a great this is mainly just to showcase a way of kind of fixing issues manually by setting one keyframe that is extrapolated across the entire animation. And I'll just delete those keyframes and go back to the original. Let's try fixing the hips. Maybe that will help us. Yeah, that looks a lot better. He's not so much uh, kind of running into himself, tripping over his legs. And if we look at it from the side, we can see that no foot skate and everything looks great. So that's really a useful tool. Often to do it on something like the legs or the hip bones or the shoulder bones. If his arms are too too close to his body or too far away from his body. Uh, it's a really nice option. I recommend using it if you have any problems after the retarget, something doesn't look right and you've tried changing the high hierarchy keys and it doesn't really work, just go in and really you can set a single rotation keyframe, have it look exactly like you want, keyframe it using visual rotation and it will look great. So in the next tutorial I'll get to that uh, IK uh, tools I mentioned earlier.